Hey friends, welcome to my big monthly Aldi stock up. I like to hit Aldi at least once a month and get all of my pantry essentials, things I want to stock back up, and of course I like to take a stroll down the Isle of Shame that gets me every time. Today's video is a collab with a good friend of mine. Her name is Jennifer. Her channel is Southern Mama Drama. If you don't know Jennifer, be sure and check out her video. I'll have her grocery haul shop with me linked in my description box below. You're going to love her. She's also a Southern Mama of three. She does lots of grocery hauls and shop with me. Aldi and Walmart hauls especially I enjoy watching. She's a super sweet gal has a very, very funny personality. I can really relate to her. She's my kind of girl. I've enjoyed her channel for a long time and I'm real excited to get to do a grocery collab with her. And if you're here from Jennifer's channel, thank you so much for stopping in. I hope you'll enjoy some other videos I have here on my channel as well. I do grocery hauls and lots of what's for dinner and recipe videos too. So let me show you what I stocked back up on at Aldi and some new things that I found today too. Here's $166 worth of Aldi food and fun. I've got a big item that's not in here from the Isle of Shame. Let me get through this cold stuff and then I'll show it to you. Got a package of green onions. Also got a bag of sweet Vidalia onions. The very last bag they had. Got this English cucumber. Oh, it's got a... Well, well, had to cut that out. Anywho, got this English cucumber. Cucumbers are getting kind of yucky right now, so you got to go with these big boys. Um, got a head of iceberg lettuce, a little bag of sweet peppers, a nice bag of gala apples, the beautiful red grapes. Let me pull them up here so you can see them. These are really big, the table grapes. They were on sale. I believe it was 99 cents a pound. Got some of those. Got a pound of bacon, and you know I usually buy that irregular bacon. If you're a regular here, you'll know that I buy irregular bacon at Aldi. It's like $3.85, very good. But the premium bacon was on sale for $3.99, and look how good it looked. Isn't that yummy? I just couldn't resist. I just went ahead and got a package of some pre-done out hamburger patties to make, make it a little easier on myself tonight. Yes, I did. We're going to fry some hamburgers. Got a dozen of eggs. A pack of cheese singles. Some of this mild salsa right here. I love this kind right here that's like fresh. I love to have that. Got a can of cinnamon rolls and a can of biscuits. I had another can of biscuits, but it also got a little uh, messed up. It kind of exploded on me. As promised, there's the gigantic Isle of Shame item. This is a big backrest pillow. Let me see if I can show you how it does. This back right here is flat, so you would put that against like your headboard. Then you can recline against it and you can like lay your head right back here and it cradles your neck and your head perfectly. And this is so soft. It's like firm, but it's soft. And this is so, this is like butter, this little texture. It is wonderful. The only one they had, and I had Maddie with me and I was like, girl, I think you need that. Me and Maddie, we make like an Olympic sport out of relaxation. We're into all the relaxation items. I think this is awesome. Okay, back to the groceries. It's going to be hard. I just want to go and cuddle up and get cozy with a cup of coffee in that pillow now. <laughs> but got a bag of bacon bits and some croutons. I buy this every month or so at Aldi. I can never remember the name brand of it. I have to look it up every month and put it on the screen for you. But this is the Aldi brand of the yellow sugar substitute. Much cheaper, cheapest place ever, even cheaper than like Kroger store brand. Aldi's the place to go if you need the sugar replacement stuff. My daughter likes to drink this in her coffee, by the way. And I've baked with it. Yes, I have. I know you don't believe me, but I have, and it's good. We treated ourselves. Had to have these little maple leaf cream cookies. These are so delicious if you've never had them. These are so warm and wonderful. Got some of the Aldi brand Doritos, and we've already been in them. Got some tortilla scooper chips, some barbecue chips. Got some Ritz style crackers, some flour tortillas. These are like the soft taco size. 
I got a couple of yellow cake mixes just because I've used a couple and I have a, another recipe or two over the holidays that I will be using up my yellow cake mixes I have bought up. I also got some of the white cheddar cheese crackers like Cheez-Its. My family loves these. When these look good at Aldi, I always get them there, the tostadas. These are very expensive other places, and a lot of times some of them are crushed, but we've been feeling the spirit of the Crunchwrap Supreme, like we're needing that again. And this is the best place to buy these for the price. Also, if you don't get them all used up, you can just put refried beans on these, taco meat, whatever. It's just, you know, a tostada shell. I also just crunch them up and use them with chips and salsa or as a base for a taco salad. I just don't like to waste anything. Got a couple of things for snacks and lunches. Got a pack of Swiss rolls. My husband's favorite little peanut butter fudge cookies. These are like the Girl Scout tagalongs. Just some little packs of peanut butter and crackers and a pack or four pack of strawberry jello. I also stocked up on the pastas because they had a good selection and variety. This is another thing. Aldi is where you need to get your pasta. This was still, I believe, 90 something cents. Got a pound of rotini. Got a pound of penne. And I call these bow ties because I don't know how to say that word. A 12 ounce box of those. I just always will stock those up when I'm there. I got two cans of diced tomatoes, two cans of whole potatoes, two cans of corn, two cans of refried beans, two cans of black beans, two cans of Rotel, two cans of cream of chicken, two cans of cream of mushroom. I keep a fully stocked pantry if you're new here. These are like staple items that I use a lot. The potatoes I don't get every time because I don't really use those often, but they're good to have on hand and they're good to put in a long-term pantry for emergency situations. Of course, keep an eye on that long-term pantry that you don't let food expire. Pull them out, do something with them. They're great just to throw in a pan with some butter and salt and pepper and have you some butter stewed potatoes. They are yummy. I also got a can of evaporated milk. That's just something I like to keep on hand too. A jar of minced garlic. Some of this cheese in a can because everybody needs cheese in a can. I also like this salsa. For a jarred salsa, I think this is really good. I add this to recipes a lot and I just eat it too. Well, we all do. I'm not the only one that eats this food. If you're new here, we're a family of four. Me, my husband, and we have two daughters who are basically young adults now. So, anyhow, I'm not the only one eating this food. Also got a jar of cheese dip. The regulars. The bag of sugar you gotta have. Mustard. Worcestershire sauce. Ketchup. And we love this Aldi ranch dressing. It is very, very good. As a matter of fact, I used to think I would never eat anything but Heinz ketchup. But one time, Kroger substituted me theirs, and I loved it. So now, I try other places. This Aldi one, it's good to go. Same thing with the Worcestershire sauce and the mustard. Try them. You might find you like them. And save a little money. Saltines. I got a bottle of fabric softener because I was getting low. I got some paper plates. I've just about quit buying paper plates because they've got so pricey. But I got some of this stuff to kind of go on vacation with us too. And this was one of those items. Also got some pepperonis. And you will hardly ever see me buy a name brand product at Aldi. But I did. I got this Betty Crocker Snickerdoodle Cookie Mix. This is for a recipe, and you know what? Every now and again, convenience is worth it. It wasn't like it was a million dollars. I might have got it a little bit cheaper at Walmart or Kroger's, but I was at Aldi. I didn't want to have to go anywhere else. They didn't have another brand of it. You know, I'll live. Okay, let's wind her up. I got a six-pack of paper towels Toilet paper every time I go to the store, whether we need it or not. And we just about always need it. I got a loaf of bread. I put it up here so I wouldn't harm it. Honey wheat. And then I got a bag of trash bags. And that 
just about sums it up. Don't forget to check that description box for Jen's video. I know you're going to love her grocery haul. If you enjoyed spending time with me today, I'd love it if you check out some of the other videos. I'll link a couple here on the screen I think you might like. Come back every week for more food and fun. And until then, I send you love from my kitchen.